So one thing you should know about Montreal in the summer is we get a lot of weather like that. Even when it's a beautiful day outside like it is right now, you know, it's actually quite warm right now. It's like 29, 30 degrees Celsius, which for my American viewers is about, it's got to be about 90 degrees Fahrenheit. But the thing is, every once in a while we get these uh, huge temperature switches in the period of just a couple hours where yeah it'll be like hot and sticky and humid like it is right now and then suddenly these big winds will come in and then everything will change and then everything will change and you'll get a crazy thunderstorm well, sometimes it's just rain sometimes it's a crazy thunderstorm and then a couple hours later it'll be nice and cool the storm will clear away all that all that warm sticky stuff <laughs> that's kind of sounded gross warm sticky stuff but uh yeah i mean it'll clear away that humid weather can you guys hear that wind yeah, it is windy out today. You know, I really wish these bikes, these rental bikes, Bixie would sponsor me for my YouTube channel. <laughs> I feel like I've shouted them out in about 10 videos. I sent an email once to the marketing team being like, hey, uh, you guys want to give me a free membership and I'll keep mentioning you guys on YouTube and spreading the good word, but they didn't get back to me. <sighs> Maybe I should try again, but you know, sometimes I have a frail ego. If someone says no, I don't want to keep going after them. But I guess the real successful people in the world are the ones who don't take no, they just keep going and going and going. Even if it makes you a bit of a jerk. <laughs> Sometimes that's how you get things done in life. Whoa. And sometimes people just miss your email too. That's the other thing. Like I I've been in a situation where a viewer of my channel will send me a message and I'll miss it and a few days will pass and they'll send another message and sometimes they're polite and nice about it they're just like following up but every once in a while I'll get someone who's like oh there's that sun again you see the sun right next to the storm that's kind of cool but yeah every once in a while someone will follow up with a message that uh, I don't know a message that isn't so nice they'll be like upset that I'm not responding and it's like first of all I wasn't trying to ignore you I was just trying to uh, you know manage my day and not spend all day responding to messages and second of all it's like you know People miss messages. I, I don't know if everyone knows what it's like. If you get like 50 messages on your Instagram inbox and you're someone like me who doesn't really like spending a lot of time on social media. In fact, is actively trying to cut back the amount of time I spend on social media. It can be tough to find the balance between, uh, yeah, to find the balance between Replying to people who have taken the time to reach out and also valuing my own day and my own time and my own life too, you know? Because to the individual it might be like, well, it only take two, three minutes to reply to this message. 
And that may be true. But I still need to mentally check out of what I was doing before, you know. If I'm trying to do some deeper act of creative work, like editing a video or writing my book or... Or even just sitting in the park with my girlfriend and enjoying a beautiful Saturday afternoon, suddenly I get a message about someone who, you know, wants advice on the neighborhoods they should visit in Montreal or wants to start a business with me, wants to advertise with me, and it's like, I need to consider this offer, and now it's like weighing on my mind whether I reply or not. So oftentimes I will reply, or sorry, I, I won't reply, but that doesn't mean I didn't see the message or appreciate the message you sent if there's some good vibes attached but you know it's 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 challenging to find the balance sometimes and i guess the balance is about respecting the fact that there's people out there who care enough to send a message or send an email and like that's awesome. Or even just leave a comment on a YouTube video. That's awesome. But if I spend all my time and my mental energy, which is limited, I'm not a robot. If I spend all my time and my mental energy thinking about those comments and how to reply to them, and, and then you reply and you get another message, and then you need to reply to that, and some people want to meet up in real life and then it becomes like a constant so i had to stop that car then it becomes like a constant um, act of scheduling meetups and things which the point is at the end of the day the reason people are reaching out is because they enjoy my content and they enjoy the creative work I'm putting out into the world. And so hopefully people can appreciate that if I don't always reply, it's because I'm busy doing the things that you probably messaged me about in the first place. So. So I guess my point is I shouldn't be too hard on people who don't reply to emails because I, I do it myself and I'm definitely guilty of that sometimes. I feel that wind. What's up, man? Good. Josh. Josh? Yeah. How are you doing, Josh? You doing basketball? You yeah. Live, you live on the same street as me. Oh, yeah? Yep. Okay, don't tell anyone. Oh. <laughs> that was wild. This guy, that guy's, apparently that guy's my neighbor. Shout out to Josh, you saw me walking around and, uh... <laughs> yeah, I just made a new friend. And that's one of the things about YouTube that uh, I've really grown to appreciate. You know, just living in Montreal, making these videos, like... It happened to me in Mexico, when I first arrived in Mexico. And my videos started popping off and getting a lot of attention. And then people on the street start recognizing you. People start, like... You get more and more messages, more and more emails. And then I left Mexico and it kind of stops. I mean, there's, you know, there's diehard fans who are still out there, still watching, still supporting the new travel. But you, def you definitely lose the momentum a little bit. You know, you see the views start to go down. And then as much as you like to say to yourself, like, oh, I'm just, I'm not in it for the money. I'm just, I'm just, a, you know, out there sharing my life, sharing my, sharing my thoughts on the world. Whoa! Oh, I'm 
sure you guys can hear that. But yeah, anyway, like as much as you want to be a, uh, as much as you want to be a purist and not be chasing the views, there is the financial reality that if you're trying to be a content creator as a full-time living, which I am right now, you know, views put bread on the table, the views Oh man, I just got like some dust in the face. Woo. Excuse me. I might have to, uh, I think it's about the time to go inside here, but, uh, but yeah, I mean, there, there's, there's the financial reality and there's also just the fact that, you know, it's hard on a personal level to stop traveling too. There's like, there's this phenomenon called uh, travel hangover where like you've been traveling for a long time and then suddenly come home and it's like it's like a hangover after a night of drinking you are all excited you are all having the time of your life and then once it's over it sucks even more than if you hadn't been traveling because you just had these amazing experiences you met these people like in my case my youtube channel is growing and then it all stops and you need to reset and you know in my case you kind of think to yourself can i do this again like, is, is it over? And then COVID hits and no one's traveling and your channel's tanking and it's like, is this the end? Should I just give up? Should I quit? And then, a year later, after the darkest year ever for travelers, it starts happening again. And my channel starts growing in, in, in Montreal. And I got a new audience out there. I got new people like Josh, who I just met, stopping me on the street. And it's, it's humbling. And it helps me remember that I should reply to as many messages as I can. And I should not take any of this for granted. Because, you know, it's here one day and it's gone the, gone the next. It's here one day and it's gone the next. And it's important to, yeah, just be present and to appreciate it while it's happening, you know? Not to always be thinking like, oh, I could have more views. I could have more subscribers. Look at this other channel. Why am I not doing what they're doing? Or look at my other friend who just bought, uh, bought himself a house. Like, wh when am I going to afford a house? Never, because I don't make any money because I decided to be a YouTuber. But the point is, you just need to um, sometimes embrace the flow of life and not really worry about, not really worry about the future so much and just enjoy the present as it's happening. That doesn't mean you don't plan for the future. But the thing about the future is it'll come whether you worry about it or not. So you may as well enjoy what you have while you have it, you know? This is cool, the two uh, old smokestacks from this, this factory. Oh, I just felt the first raindrop, actually. Yeah, I just felt the first drops. So pretty soon I'm gonna gonna call this video a day, but th this is just beautiful, isn't it? With the stormy sky and the trees and that weird looking building in front of us. So yeah, these are my thoughts here on this hot and humid day in Montreal, soon to be a wet, a wet and stormy day. The two giant cigarettes. Just kidding. I still haven't been smoking. Some of you guys know I quit smoking, uh, 
Well, that was that was before the virus. That, so that was like actually about two years ago now. I wonder if I've passed my two-year anniversary for that. I haven't even been thinking about it, to be honest. I guess that's the uh, the truest sign when you quit something. When you don't even you're not even counting the days. You don't even. It doesn't matter anymore. Here comes the storm. Doo -doo -doo -doo. All right, YouTube. Hope you've enjoyed this little walk and talk. These are fairly easy for me to make because it doesn't take a lot of editing. I just, I just grab my little stabilized camera and ramble. So if you made it to the end, leave a comment. In fact, leave the word turtle. Leave a turtle in the comment section if you made it to the end. So I can know who the true, <laughs> the true fans are. Okay, I'm, I'm starting to get a shower here. I think it's time to go. See you next time, YouTube. Peace.